What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, we are back with another daily market update. We have Elon Musk pulling even more uh, shenanigans. Uh, he pumped ApeCoin and he dumped ApeCoin um, in a specific way. We're going to talk about that in this video. We've got Kenya's largest biomass company building on HBAR specifically. Um, we've got some unannounced uh, XRP central bank partnerships here. Nice little clip from Brad Garlinghouse. So a lot of stuff in this video. Make sure you watch to the end. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Twitter right here. That is my Twitter username. That's also my Instagram username as well. Now, BTC 38,000. We do have the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve meeting today. Uh, Bitcoin is bouncing a little bit in anticipation for the Fed meeting. Um, basically, 99% of people think that after the Fed meeting, Bitcoin will dump. Um, but usually when 99% of people think something's going to happen, uh, the opposite happens. Uh, I'm not saying the opposite will happen, but we are reaching $39,000 right here. Um, so we will see what happens with the Fed meeting. Um, you guys can watch that on YouTube uh, when it is happening. But keep watching this video because this has some valuable stuff. $2,800 ETH. ETH doing absolutely nothing. Biggest gainer is Curve Dow. You guys know I've been supporting Curve Dow for like months now, and I would still be uh, willing to accumulate Curve Dow at two dollars and forty cents um, because this thing, this thing will rock it. Okay, it's already been to six dollars, but that is nothing uh, for this project. This is like the top, like it is an elite DeFi pick. If you like DeFi, if you believe in DeFi. That is an elite DeFi pick. We also have Zillica pumping right here. I am a fan of Zillica. I am a fan of Moonbeam. If you want some secret alpha on Moonbeam, after this video, you should go and watch uh, me giving some secret alpha on Moonbeam. Where is it? Um, here's the thing. What you can do on the channel, you can just type it in. Moonbeam. Boom. Mason drops secret alpha on Moonbeam coin. After you watch uh, this video, definitely go and watch that. So this this is the BTC chart right now, toying with that thirty nine thousand dollar level. We have uh, Coinbase giving Goldman Sachs a, a Bitcoin backed loan. Okay, so literally Goldman Sachs working with uh, Coinbase, right? I saw this video on Instagram of a lady being asked like, "Yo, what what do you think of Bitcoin?" And she said, "The original concept of all of this was amazing." But now we have centralized entities just running the space. And those are the exchanges, right? That's Coinbase, Crypto.com, Binance. Um, and these are basically just the new banks, right? So uh, Goldman Sachs is working with Coinbase on this loan right here. Um, all, I, all I care about with an article like this is Coinbase in the same sentence and working with Goldman. That shows you who they are. Um, we also have Coinbase saying that or the CEO predicting 1 billion crypto users within a decade. That is very possible. Okay. Very possible. Now, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has changed his profile picture. So yesterday he changed his profile picture to a Bored Ape Yacht Club, right? And this is just a picture from Google. I've used this picture in thumbnails before. He just typed in Bored Apes on Google and threw this one up. Um, <laughs> Now, and then traders went 10x long on ApeCoin because Elon is daddy for them. ApeCoin goes to $20. No, it didn't. It, it went to close, like 18 bucks, right? Um, and then Elon comes out after a few hours and completely shits on NFTs. ApeCoin goes back down to $13. So you can see ApeCoin had this mega pump right here. This is 30-minute candles. So within 30 minutes, we were at from 14 cents to 18 cents and then back down to basically 14 cents. Why is this though? What did he tweet out? He put his profile picture as that. And then he, um, wait, what did he say about the Freemason one? Okay, never mind. Uh, he, and then he tweeted this. I don't know. Seems kind of fungible, right? Because he could just put. Like, it makes no sense. This is a complete, just, he's completely trolling here. 
Like, are, he's not that dumb, right? Because you're putting a picture of, like, a bunch of apes. Like, this is not even just one ape. If you really wanted to show that it's not fungible, or, or sorry, if you really wanted to show that it is fungible, go and use your own feature that sh that they implemented, which is the um, the hexagon verification thing, right? Where you uh, you verify that the NFT is yours. But what people can do, like I can go on here, right, and type in Board Ape Yacht Club, and I can go to images, and I can grab, let's grab this guy. I can save this, right? And if I just put it as my profile picture like Elon is doing, we know he doesn't own those. We know he's not collecting royalties or anything. But what I could actually do is save this, go to my OpenSea, mint this profile, mint this photo. I could mint this exact JPEG for like $30 in gas. And then I can head over to here and actually get a verified, um, like I can actually verify that I own that NFT through OpenSea. And I don't own it, right? Keep in mind, I don't own it, but I'm showing that it still shows that I basically own it. So he's pissing everybody off again. Um, he is not with the NFT stuff. And I'm telling you, dude, he's barely even with the crypto stuff. He may, he's, this whole Dogecoin thing has been making fun of crypto. That He said that was his original intention, was he was making fun of cryptocurrency with the dog coin. Moving on, we have the first African emissions reduction credit platform unveiled. This is a, a biomass producer called Tamua. And this is the biggest one in Kenya. And it's it, <clears throat> it just set up a platform called CYNK using a blockchain system. Now, I don't like how Hashgraph like, continues to let these news articles come out and call them blockchain because they're not blockchain tech, right? Um, so the, their platform is called CYNK. This is Kenya's largest biomass company. They're using Hedera Hashgraph. Um, basically, they're minting 5 million... What was it? Five million. They want to generate five million tokenized vers, <laughs> kind of like my last name, Vers Lewis, uh, vers over the next five years, um, and these vers are the credits. Vers accrues. Hold on, is to ensure more income from verifiable blah 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 or vers. Okay, while carbon credits are included among vers, the platform will cater for firms. Uh, so this is some interesting stuff. Of course, all I care about is that they chose Hedera Hashgraph. More proof that Hedera Hashgraph is the one to choose if you're going to build something like that. Now, we have something against Hedera Hashgraph right here from uh, Dagnum Pi uh, right here. <clears throat> and this guy's a heavy Dag Maxi, Constellation Dag Maxi. Let's actually do an update on the Dag price here. Constellation, I am still holding some. It is at 15 cents. Right, yearly chart. I mean, this looks like it's about to rip, right? This looks like it's just been bouncing, consolidating. Um, and it's found basically this, it's been ranging between, you know, 15 cents or tw let's say 20 cents uh, to 13 cents for a while here. Um, but he says, Did you know that, uh, or sorry, with mainnet 2.0, so that's the, the main catalyst for Constellation's price to go up is that the main net 2.0 is fast approaching. Um, how many people have looked at their requir requirements to run an HBAR node? Look, these are the requirements to run an HBAR node. And he's saying that they're way too high. And he says, did you know that you could, did you know that you could actually run a full DAG node from your phone? So from your phone, you can run a full DAG node. But guess what? Uh, the DAG node it will probably cost you, I don't know the price right now, it's probably $80,000 to run it from your phone. Um, so th that's an interesting comparison right there. We have Joe Rogan um, saying that the government is freaking out over Bitcoin's viability as a currency. Absolutely disagree with this in a way. Like they're, they are freaking out, but they're not, right? He says, I think of Bitcoin... In the same way I think about the early internet, I think they didn't see it coming and now it's a viable form of currency and you can actually buy things with it and I think the government is freaking out. Well, guess what? When people buy things in it, the person selling it is still pricing it in USD. It all comes back to the US dollar anyways. 
Um, and they, I don't think the government is freaking out when the population of Earth or a lot of people on the population of Earth are willingly adopting a public blockchain system and using it. I don't think they're freaking out about that. I think they're like, keep doing it. Keep pushing the adoption of a public blockchain, right? And then the, the whole conspiracy will <laughs> would be that they attack Bitcoin and make Bitcoin actually fail. And then they present the solution, which is their CBDC BS uh, bull, bull, bull crap. So interesting comments from joe rogan there i agree and i disagree at the same time i wanted to show the quant chart because this is absolutely horrendous right we're at 94 dollars. if you're not accumulating quant i don't know what you're doing um just do some simple freaking math and you will see let's zoom out to the daily so let's say you're just super smart and you this chart looks so amazing by the way we've been tracking this chart for so long um so let's say you 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 believe in quant you think it'll get to $500. Why wouldn't you stack bags at $94? 500 divided by 94. That is a 5x on your money if you have patience and if you have uh conviction in quant. Patience plus conviction uh wins. Okay, I've seen it time and time again. <clears throat> But I mean, zooming out to the daily, this looks freaking horrible, right? EMAs in the gray. We've got bearish continuation diamonds on Market Cipher. You have both RSIs just going to the zero line right here. You have red money flow looking like it's picking up even more. Um, you do have a double stacked green dot that did not play out. So that was on May 2, and it's been two days, and that has not played out. So Market Cipher is wrong there for all of you that want to hear that. Um, and then you have the momentum wave to the downside, extremely big. Um, if we zoom out to, let's see, the daily right here, you can see we've been in red money flow for a very, very long time here. Um, super annoying. Now, <clears throat> this guy, Untouched Trading, says keep an eye on Quant. He thinks the pressure's building right here. But what I want to warn you is that this could go the opposite way. And if it does, I would be very, very surprised. We have a strong, strong support at $90, right? $90 to $95. I would be super surprised if we break to the downside uh, through that, right? Through $90 into 80 bucks. And you better be stacking. Like that is prime opportunity. Um, there will be a moment where I can say, I told you so. You should have been stacking at 80 bucks if we do go there. <clears throat> moving on we have a couple clips here or this first clip of um <clears throat> i forget the dude's name who cares about his name he's a boomer but he's saying uh, he's talking about jack ma and they they basically made jack ma disappear where's jack ma now right jack ma is the strike dude uh trying to use lightning network to undermine the banks uh but here we go watch this 50 uh one minute clip charlie you said communist china is doing all the things that we oh yeah charlie munger Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett, those two boomers. Charlie, you said communist China is doing all the things that we should be doing right now. And I, I can't help but think of what, they're, what well, they've done well, to Jack Ma. It amuses me, you know. Well, uh, what about what they've done to Jack Ma? He's kind of disappeared as... Well, yes, but Jack Ma is one of the swingers. So they just cut his... They said, the hell with you. <laughs> he basically got, gave a speech when he said to a, to a one-party state... Well, you guys are a bunch of jerks don't know what you're doing and i know what i'm doing and i'm going to do it better and he was going to wade into banking and no rules and just do whatever he pleased he also but brought banking chinese, to a lot of the chinese people. communists did the right thing they just called in jack ma and say you aren't going to do it sonny and and uh, so charlie munger is saying that the chinese communists called up jack ma and said you're not going to do what you're trying to do i wish we had a I don't want the, all of the Chinese system, but I certainly would like to have the financial part of it in my own country. Although Ant Financial was bringing banking. Okay, you are a weirdo then, Charlie. You want you want a, a financial slave system because that's what China basically is going for slash has already. <clears throat> you want <laughs> okay. The point here is that the he he's this is a credible man. Like he's pretty credible. He's saying that the Chinese communists whoever that is right called up jack ma and said stop you're not doing this stuff 
and this is what i'm saying dude they don't let anybody into this banking system <clears throat> if you're trying to change the banking system you must be on their side and changing it for the better guess who's on their side ripple guess who's on the world economic forum board brad garlinghouse guess who's who's against bitcoin trying to make bitcoin proof of stake chris larson <clears throat> right you need to be on their side you need to sell your soul for it jack ma is trying to do it without selling his soul is he going to succeed i don't know they kind of shut him down so moving on we have johnny right here <clears throat> basically saying uh this is for anybody who who's contemplating selling out of their xrp position or staying in it now he presents an interesting argument right here saying currently 95 percent of xrp sales are out outside of the u.s if ripple wins the case and only 10 percent of the u.s population or 33 million people enter the xrp market we may see rapid growth well no shit we will see rapid growth if that happens at an average purchase of one thousand dollars invested per person at an average price of one dollar we will see 33 billion enter the market so basically a bunch of imaginary things right a bunch of imaginary things is why you should keep your xrp and that's how it all that's how it's always basically been the partnerships are real etc but I mean, these are the arguments we're dealing with. Like, we're betting that 33 million people come in after the XRP lawsuit. Highly unlikely that we get that many. Um, but I'm I'm staying with my XRP uh, position. I'm not adding more. I'm not selling anymore. Now, let's play my favorite clip of today's video, which is Brad Garlinghouse, the Aquarius King, sitting with this young lady right here and just absolutely explaining why ripple is the best um and that they have unannounced central bank partnerships unannounced so watch this clip looks at this is ripple's really trying to solve that cross-border payments problem you know uh central bank digital currencies are you know, domestic by that by nature they're issued by a central bank uh, or potentially issued by a central bank so they're not really solving cross-border problems. They're solving domestic uh, solutions more often than not. So look, I, I think that the what we're seeing happen with stable coins, we're ha seeing happening with central bank issued digital assets, I think is exciting. I'm not exactly clear how it's all going to play out. You're seeing countries experiment and test. So even he's not exactly sure how it's going to play out. That's how misty and smoky and foggy they've made it. Uh, Ripple has partnered with several uh, central banks around the world. Some we've announced, some we haven't yet announced. Some we've announced, some we haven't yet announced, but listen what they're going to do. That they're issuing uh, and testing using the XRP ledger to issue their digital assets on the XRP ledger as a, as a token. So uh, we're excited to be working with them. And look, at our core, Ripple's really good at working with enterprise customers. A government is just a big enterprise customer. You know, we know how to sell to. That's an interesting notion. <laughs> it, it, I mean, in some ways, it's just a really big enterprise customer. And mm -hmm. we're pretty good at that now because we've had a lot of experience with it and worked with some of the largest banks in the world, uh, as well as a lot of the smaller payment companies that. Literally implying that they, they are working with governments and they're very good at working with governments. So dope clip right there from uh, Willy Wonka. I'm going to retweet that one, actually. That's, that's a great clip. Now. Video is getting long, so we will move on to the final uh, piece today, which is on XRP. I wanted to showcase this website, onxrp.com. Uh, this was built by um, a couple of the dudes at uh, the X from the X Punk team, I believe. Um, right here, onxrp.com, uh, powered with love by XRP Ledger Punks. Uh, make sure you guys go follow it, and then this is like onxrp.com, so it's showing everything that's on XRP. Um, they even have a DEX right here. You can trade. They have some articles. They have on XRP TV, which is like a podcast they have. Um, they also feature, they, I'm on the website right here, featured. They have Bearable Guy, Jeremy Hogan, all the other uh, beautiful XRP community people. Um, but very cool website. Go check this out. Um, yeah, this is just going to be the absolute hub for anything XRP. Very cool. Now, that is all we've got for the daily market update appreciate if you're still watching right now you're just such a real one i wish i could like give you a high five or a hug or something because you're still watching 20 minutes um 
but hopefully you, that, that video brought you some value. Make sure you follow on uh, Twitter, Instagram, join the Telegram group. I love every single one of you and goodbye. Thank <music> you.